Welcome back everyone. So the other days ago, a couple, I think like a couple weeks ago, the PlayStation 5s went up for pre-order, right? And I tried my hardest to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, I was not able to, so I'll probably have to buy it in the third on eBay or something and pay like three times the price. But I was able to secure not only the Xbox Series X, but also the Xbox Series S on the same day in like a 20 minute period without having to constantly spend hours and hours on the computer or anything. And it was the craziest moment of my life because it didn't take that much time and I was expecting it to be a crazy process like with the PS5s, but literally it took minutes to do. And I don't wanna take any credit for this specific situation or for this specific method because it's not my way at all. I was literally scrolling through Reddit trying to find out a way to do it of at least how to try to secure these Xboxes and what methods are working for these people. And somebody recommended this, which is so insane. So primarily you would always go onto your computer, right? And just open up the web pages and just keep refreshing, keep clicking refresh, refresh until you eventually was able to, until you were eventually able to go and like, you know, check out on the, either the Microsoft store, GameStop, Best Buy, I think Walmart had some too. But instead now of using that specific website or whatever, what people did and what they recommended was using the Best Buy app. Now this is not a new method like I stated before, this is something that's been around for a long time, but I wish I had done this for when the PlayStation 5s came out. If I did that for when the PS5s came out, I would have probably been able to secure a PS5 at that time, but I was not able to because I was too busy you know, refreshing bestbuy.com and refreshing the Microsoft Store. So what I did instead was I actually just went ahead and downloaded the Best Buy app on not only my iPhone, actually I just only installed it on my iPhone, I didn't install it on any other phones that I have, and I literally just waited and I took the PS5 and I took the first of all the Xbox Series X, I pulled that up on the app and I just kept clicking refresh or add to cart and it would say, you know, please wait or, you know, couldn't do it or not enough or whatever, and now I just keep clicking that over and over and over again. And what happened eventually was that I was able to actually go through and purchase this it would just randomly add it to my cart which was so insane and so i bought the xbox series x eventually and what happened afterwards was i waited like an hour or two i worked out and i came back and you know i found out the series s was also available or whatever and i remember that i was like bro i might as well buy both of them and this was already hours after the pre-order had started and i went on to reddit and i was still able to see that people were still able to pick up the Xbox Series S is even though it's been hours later. So I went back on the Best Buy app. I'm telling you, this was hours after the pre-orders had started and I had already bought a Series X. And so I just kept clicking add to cart over and over and over again. And eventually it was able to go through and it added to my cart and I was able to check out there. And the very important thing was, was that I got confirmation, not only on my email, but I was able to see it, I think, pulled from my credit card too. So, you know, I'm getting it delivered at some point. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same day, but it said guaranteed delivery by this certain date. So if they don't, then I don't know what's going to happen. But I think that's the best way I would recommend to people. If you want to your best opportunity at picking up an Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X whenever another pre-orders come out or whatever, then this is probably the best way I'd recommend to people to do is to download the Best Buy app and pretty much go from there. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.